Yo, what's going on guys? We are back. You guys saw the first three. No, actually we're already eight. This is number nine on what to expect from the Detroit Pistons. Okay, we've done eight other teams. You should check those out. But either way, there's a burp. Let's get right into it. I want to hear your thoughts down below. We just hit 8,000. We're going for 10. Thousand like and subscribe for 150 videos a month at least five a day on every facet of the NBA now Let's talk about the Detroit Pistons and first off Detroit I Think Kate Cunningham could I know this is asking for a lot, but if there was if you had to tell me like My my choice obviously going into last year. Sorry for that noise going into last year was Anthony Edwards to like completely go into an MVP level, he cut he for yeah I wouldn't say completely flirted with it. It was kind of I think Cade Cunningham truly could flirt with a MVP like at least an All Star season. Cade Cunningham at least is gonna be an All Star, and that's not even what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the full roster. They did draft, um, technically they didn't draft him, but they did draft him. Jalen Duran, based I uh, love him. Jay Knighty, Ivy as well. And the crazy thing is they got Boyan Bogdanovich recently, which this team is really making a push for, I think, the playing spot at the very least. And it looks more – every day passes, it's looking like Kemba Walker staying on the team because he's realized that no one else is going to sign him. So his best bets is staying in, you know, Detroit. And – Kyler Edwards is a training camp invite. I doubt he makes the team. And yeah, let's just talk about this team on a whole. I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I think this team is at the very least the 14th pick in the draft. Maybe maybe the 12th. But I really think this team is going to be a play-in team. I think they're going to shock people. Okay? And it's first off, I need to tell you guys this. The shortest player on the roster is Kemba Walker, but if you exclude Kemba Walker, their shortest player like is Corey Joseph, who's 6'3", but really their shortest guys are 6'4". They really have no one below 6'4", excluding Corey Joseph, who's like 6'3", and Kemba Walker, but like this team is huge, like length, and I love it. But look, I know it's, I think Kay Cunningham is the fucking guy. Okay, excuse my French. And they found the face of the franchise. This is a, I've, is he six foot six or he's six foot eight? I've seen six foot eight. I've seen six seven. I've seen six six. Please tell me down below how tall K Cunningham truly is. I've seen him play in person. He came to the University of Kansas and got beat by my K Kansas Jayhawks. By the way, guys, four and zero. Oh. Everyone who's you know sent me wishes about my Jayhawks going four and zero oh in football. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Now, look, despite a slow start to the rookie season, which people like act like Kate Cunningham didn't have that great of a rookie season. You're a fucking idiot if you think that. Again, excuse my language. I don't you normally cuss. I try to, you know, I'm a journalist, okay? I'm a about to graduate from University of Kansas in journalism. Top 15, arguably, journalism school in the country. So I have ethics and morals that I try to stay by, and I try to not cuss any, as much. I try to crack jokes and say dark sh stuff. I say shit, but like, hey, look, I think Kay Cunningham showed for two thirds of his season, or his rookie year, that he was the top selection, why he was the highest ceiling out of anyone in his draft class. And I believe the Pistons will see Kay Hun Cunningham take another level in year two. Okay, you know, he's going to be like Luka Doncic who freaking took it to another level. And I think not only will he be an all-star, I think he could be one of those guys who gets on the snub list for the all-NBA teams. And I think it's likely that these young Detroit Pistons are going to be exceeding expectations have an opportunity for postseason basketball. It all depends on our man, Kate Cunningham, taking that lead. First off, starting lineup, Kate Cunningham. Mm, this is I think Cade Cunningham, Boyan Bogdanovich, Sadiq Bay. This is where it gets interesting. Would you go? Mm, mm, mm. This is do you go Jaden Ivey in the starting lineup? Because you can go Jaden Ivey, Boyan, Sadiq Bay, Cade, Isaiah Stewart, Marvin Bagley, and Erlen Noel at center. Like one of those three guys. Or you could do Marvin Bagley, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bay, Boyan, and Kate Cunningham. Then off the bench, you have a combination of Kelly and Hayes, Kemba, Dialu, Ivy, you know, Livers, 
and then whoever, you know, Nerlens Noel and Jalen Duran. And this is a team that has so many weapons. Like, first off, they're so stacked at the, the guard position. Al Burks, Kemba Walker, Killian Hayes, Corey Joseph, Kate Cunningham, okay, and Roddy McGruder, and Jaden Ivey. Like, right there, right there, that's like six, almost eight guys, it feels like. Half of them can play either point guard or shooting guard. Half of them just play point guard. And then you go over to the wings. You got Sadiq Bey, Boyan Bardanovic, Hamidu Dialu. Okay. Isaiah Livers could play the wing, but he's more of a forward. You got Buddy Bohim on a two-way. You got still got, you know, Kevin Knox. You got Braxton Key. Again, another more forward. You got Roddy McGuru, who could also play wing. There's a lot of depth, okay, on this team. And that's what blows me away, okay, about this team is just like the fact that it's it's unreal and i know that they're technically gonna i think they're at 18 guys so they're probably gonna cut kyler edwards and i don't know who's the other guy they're gonna cut i guess either kemba walker or it would be a guy who's deal like with the least amount of money maybe Corey. I doubt it. I love Corey Joseph. I think they they're they're quite fond of Corey Joseph as well. So for me, sorry for sneezing. Also, I want to see the Pistons' salary real quick, and I'll tell you right now, real quick, who's going to be there. Also, I think Jaden Ivey will be a top five rookie. I think Jalen Duran long term will have a great career, but he's going to be in a center by committee with Marvin Bagley, Isaiah Stewart. Nerlens Noel, I, I see him just playing like 15 minutes a night, being very good. But I don't. I, I see Jaden Ivey being more the Rookie of the Year candidate. And damn, so from my understanding is basically the guys that they would want to cut. I mean, they're definitely cutting Kyler Edwards, which technically, if I, I read this right, three. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So they they got to cut two guys. So Kyler Edwards and either I mean, they just brought back Rodney McGruder, but it could be Rodney McGruder or Corey Joseph. I don't know which one would save them more money. It's definitely a weird situation. And yeah, I want to know what's your guys' thoughts on this whole situation and why. But like, yeah, I definitely think this Troy Pistons team is the team that's going to go. I like what Troy Weaver is. People forget Troy Weaver came over from Oklahoma City. And before that, he was actually in Utah. And then you got yourself Dwayne Casey. This is a long team. I like what they're doing. Okay, I have no fear. I have no fear in this team. I think this is a team that can be real good. And I expect them to make a push for the playoffs. So, yeah, I hope you guys do have a good, great day. Go check out my NFL and my NBA show. Our NBA show, I do it with Jackson. Okay, well, Upton. I've also been really fucking with Sprite lately. Sprite's so good. Uh -huh. Mm. Oh, yeah.